hello friend welcome back to my channel again and this is Charendra your coach today we learn Atlantis as bit vocate that tool from uh, is from the source tree uh, where you can uh, control your source code and store your code on a safe place so let's talk about the what the source tree source tree uh, simplifies how you interact with your git repositories true so you can focus on coding visualize and uh, manage your repositories through source trees simplified uh, git GUI and uh, this uh, saying really a uh, believing get uh, information on any branch or commit with a single click so so this tool a one one stop place for your all requirement to source your uh, to uh, st store your code and uh, manage the version histories and commit collaboration with your team everything on one place so let's start it with us okay so let's start with a uh, witwocket dashboard here you can check the url of my dashboard and here are the tabs you can search your repos here code and uh, commits this is a project tab you will find your all projects here here you can uh, create a pull request you can track your issues and snipped in this tab and here is the basic and we, we can check here your team repository projects snip and at last your repository So you can also import your repository if you have another account and you want to your repos in this account you can simply import that into your account so you can check here here are the my repositories here all codes my project code are stored in the my repository tab and now we are creating a new repository and you can you need to uh, for this you need to select your team and you can also create a new team for this so i have created my a, I'm going to create a new repository in my team and you you can choose this uh, language git or Merc uh, mercurial and advanced setting so basically we are working on swift so we will select here swift hit the tab button and if you want to uh, add description or import you can use this uh, like you can also import from uh, inside menu so basically side menu is for accessing the uh, various uh, feature of a uh, bitwocket dashboard also uh, you can integrate your bitwocket in your xcode so you can directly access from your xcode as well here so you can check here this is a github so github and source tree basically uh, simply wrapper of uh, a king git so you can manage these services using different different tools like svm github witwocket so basically we are using witwocket so we are uh, going to open our existing uh, project that uh, I already covered in my past tutorials so we will use that uh, adjusting project uh, for the uh, lesson so you can check here bitwocket is not configured uh, git is not configured with this project so this is a source tree app you can download it from our website uh, simply uh, search on Google like the download source tree app and this will uh, give you a link in search bar and then you can simply direct uh, download this app and use so the, the basic benefit of this app is that you don't need to remember the uh, uh, commands for your terminal and you you will get a GUI for uh, handling all all kind of requests like uh, pull, post, merge, 
and all things uh, you can uh, manage in within the app so you don't need to uh, remember the commands and you can check all visual uh, elements in the app like account and uh, general and you can check here my multiple uh, accounts I have added here you can this uh, source tree app supports all kind of uh, uh, source controlling platforms like github bitbucket sv and so i have added here you can check here my accounts are some bitbucket account and github accounts here my github accounts are uh, i have uh, login with into the app you can check here if you are going to click on anyone on repository you can also uh, clone that uh, on your destination folder these are, these are the two tabs uh, we have clicked on remote so these are the remote uh, remote uh, repositories you can check your source link and destination path and name this name will be appear in your bookmarks of your source tree app if you can hit on click then this will be start to cloning on your destination folder but I'm not going to clone. if you want to if you have any URL you can also hit on clone from URL and if you want to click any repository you can also uh, create a repository without going to dashboard you can check here how this simply you need to and select the account owner name and description and then hit to the ok or proceed button simply so these are the uh, and drop down menu where uh, different people accessing different different uh, options uh, from bitbucket uh, so straight app Here is the setting where you can check your all configured accounts and this is the uh, menu section where you can find different different to, uh, uh, options to uh, to accessing different different uh, portion of this app. basically in this video i will not going uh, very deep but uh, we are going to uh, take a basic overview of this app so you can uh, manage your code your source codes in a cloud storage so whenever you want to uh, work on the multiple devices like if you commit a, uh, a system a and then you can pull from system b so you don't need to take this on pen drive or other hard drive and simply put your code into your cloud like a bit bucket and then access to the another, another system or another team and uh, or allow this for another team member here we are creating a branch from your our app so if you want to uh, pull any specific branch like this you can also take a pull from uh, that particular branch if you want to uh, take from master you can get it from master so i'm taking a pull from a master branch you can check over here current branch master i have already selected and i'm entering a new branch name so i'm entering a very descriptive uh, name of this branch check here we have created a branch here so basically we are uh, uh, adding firebase auth in our project so we simply uh, created a branch you can also switch between the master and uh, firebase uh, auth branch so how so like this you can switch between your two branches
So, this is your port file where we will install the port from terminal. So, you can also learn the uh, how to add a port in your project in this tutorial as well. So, basically, what we are doing, we are adding a port uh, for Firebase authentication and then we will commit this uh, using our source tree app. So this code will be uh, post on the server like a bit of its server and you can access this branch uh, from different from different device or you can allow to work on this branch to your uh, team member So you can check here uh, the uh, uncommitted files here 201 uncommitted file here we will uh, going to commit it like uh, an stacked file these are not uh, under the source control we need to going go uh, we need to put it under the source control you can check here if you want to remove discard these uh, changes by clicking this you need to stack all your files here so simply what what you need to do uh, first select all files that we have already selected then uh, uh, write something about your comment in your comment uh, commit box and then simply here are the options for commit um, I want to immediately post this code to the server so I will select the commit button as well, post button as well Yes, uh, so you can check here we have committed our code on the Bitbucket server and uh, now this code will be available on server I mean so Bitbucket server here you can check the branches this is a, uh, yeah, you can uh, toggle your branches like from the drop down menu so you can check here the commit and author and date and all uh, related information the committed files you can check here so this is the basic view of our source tree uh, development tool you can check your commits uh, your committed files and what you have changed done in your files on the right side you can check this And also, if I required, and uh, yes, surely uh, after this video, I will also create a high level video of Git and uh, Bitbucket by uh, command line. This is a, and uh, so still use the GUI so that you don't need to remember commands. But 
surely uh, we should always uh, always have to knowledge of commands how to use the commands so we can also use uh, the commands using uh, with the help of terminal uh, using the source tree but I will make a separate video for that so these updates you can find on your uh, portal duplicate this is your master branch you can check this check out you can take a check out of this and here are your bookmarks of your projects you can check here in the directory you can check here we have added uh, port files in this now we are uh, taking check out of branch where we have added uh, our dependencies in the branch firebase so now you can check we have uh, updated our four file so you can check here we have uh, two different coding different different branches one in master and one other for the firebase auth uh, implementation branch and um, after this, uh, what you need to do, you need to merge your code. That will I will learn, uh, teach you in uh, my next video. Yes, if there, if you going to post something and uh, there is recent changes, then you need to uh, reset these files. If you also if you are switching the branches as well, you can check out this branch like this then uh, merge uh, firebase uh, branch into the master like this oops we need to uh, i think uh, there are some recent changes we should this simply now uh, merge what happen if you are uh, uh, switching the branches sometimes but have on that uh, they, they automatically some uh, unstacked file got changes due to the uh, your working environment so you need to reset that and if you hit the cl click on merge button that your code will be merged on the inspected uh, branch so thanks for watching this video thank you